Hi, as you can see, here I am, out in the garden, um, trying to get some work done, enjoying the glorious sunshine we have today. Um, I wanted to uh, record a brief video because uh, although it's been a crazy two or three weeks for me, um, whilst I've been driving around like a crazy guy, um, I've been not reading it but listening to an audio CD, you can get it in the library locally here. Um, it's called Making Evil by uh, Dr. Julia Shaw. She's a clinical um, criminal, I should say, forensic psychologist and spends a lot of time um, trying to get inside the heads of some really nasty people. And she talks a bit about it in her book. And one of the points she makes um, that I found very interesting is that often with these even seriously um, serial killers, rapists or whatever, you often find that deep down they're actually what you might describe as being quite normal um, in their behaviour. They've oftentimes got um, many of the things that we would consider to be as part of a, a normal, um, normal life. And it's just something or other that goes wrong and just makes them flip. And there's plenty of people that are similar to them that don't flip and don't go crazy. And she says to describe them as monsters, um, as often happens, actually in some ways dehumanizes them and lets them off the hook. Um, they are normal and they're totally responsible for what they do. As she cites as an example, the trial of the um, the Nazi, Nazi uh, henchman uh, Adolf Eichmann, who was, by all accounts, quite normal. She said, "Yeah, uh, in in his in his trial, the um, <coughs> uh, his lifestyle was described in quite normal terms. That he'd come home from the office, had a tough day, shout at the wife, and all the other things that yeah, some normal people did around that time." <coughs> And um, the point she makes is, yeah, is is that we shouldn't we shouldn't sort of detach the humanity from these people. It's interesting in this week's Sedra that the spies um, that Moses is sent sends out to spy out the land of Israel and whose misadventure really has a permanent and negative effect on the rest of well, I guess Jewish history. They also are described as Anashim. Simple men. That through the power of groupthink, which she also talks about in the book, or compliance, or whatever it is, just have a, have a moment and they just flip. Ordinary people are capable of horrendous things. But the point she makes at the end is quite powerful. And that is the opposite is also true. If you look at heroes, people that have... Um, performed acts of tremendous courage and bravery, people that have gone above and beyond what might have been expected of them, people that have <coughs> acted selflessly, put their lives in danger for the sake of others. They're also normal. Quite often, they don't wear a, they, they don't wear a cape, they don't have any spa, um, latex or any symbols on their chests. They're just normal guys going about their normal day. And she says, we have the potential in all of us to go either way, to perform acts of brutality and selfishness, or to be heroic in our own ways. It's down to us as to we're in control of what, what influences us and how we behave. We should never let go of that, never dehumanise ourselves, and of course never dehumanise others. Shabbat Shalom.